Hi, and welcome to a new IT Business Essentials tutorial. My name is Carlos, and today I will show you how to set up a Google Workspace account step by step. Google Workspace is the rebranded name of G Suite, one of the two best email services and complete collaborations tools in the market. The other one, in my opinion, is Microsoft 365. Which one is better? It depends. We can talk about that in a different video. However, I can tell you that both are great services. At the end, you will find people with different types of preferences for both services. To start with a Google Workspace account, you will need a domain name and an active email address, so Google can communicate with you in case of any event. You can start with a 14 days free trial period, and you will need to enter your credit card information. You can also cancel the service without any charge before the end of the 14 days trial. Let's jump into our computer and let me show you the process. We are now within our computer. We open the browser. We can go to workspace.google.com or we can just Google Google Workspace. The first options will be related to the Google Workspace. We click on here. It will take us directly to the home page of Google Workspace. We'll find here the information about the product or the service, what is included, all the apps that we can use, pricing or the plans that we can subscribe to. In our case, we will go directly to start the setting up. We can click on get started or right here on the upper right corner. And we need to start by saying or telling uh, how many people we want to set up. Can be only one person or more than one in our case we are going to set up uh, or choose between two and nine we need to select the country i'm in canada that's okay click on next and we need to enter our name last name and the current email address this is the email address that google will use to contact us so it is very important that we provide this email address uh, that is a working email address click on next now we it is asking us if we have a domain name in our case we do if we don't have a domain name we can click here and we can buy or purchase a domain name from google in our case we have a domain name we enter it here ask itbe.xyz or as we say here in canada z xyz Click on next. We now need to review the payment plan. It will be the starter, the business starter. We will be able to upgrade the plan um, during the 14 days uh, free period, or we can stay with this plan. Click on next. It is now asking us to complete the information, including the credit card. After entering the credit card information, we get this and your Google account works your Google Workspace account has been created. Now we should click on continue to set up. We should go to the admin console. We should click on next. Now we need to verify our domain name. So we need to click on verify. During this step, Google will verify that we are the owner of this domain name. So we will need to add a TXT record to our DNSs. We will tell you step by step how to do this. We click on continue. We need to copy this and add it as a TXT record within our DNSs. We need to access the domain admin panel. In most cases, it will be within the registrar or the place where we register our domain name. Maybe your domain name was registered by, with uh, GoDaddy or maybe HostGator or many others. Maybe you, you could have used um, cheap domains or there, there are many providers where you can register your domain name if you have any doubt about how to access that admin panel or the domain admin manager uh, you can i we suggest you to contact the provider where you purchase your domain name and ask them how to add a txt record in our case we have a provider which use something called cpanel uh, some other providers use uh, Plesk. We will show you here at least 
how to do it within the cPanel. And it will be very similar to many other providers. We will open a new tab to access our cPanel. In our case, we type our domain name forward slash cPanel. It will give us access to the admin panel where we can enter our DNS record. We enter our username and password. In general, most of the uh, admin panels, you should look for something like um, domain manager or DNS records editor or manage domain. In cPanel, it is called zone editor and we should click on manage and we will be able to add a new record. We click here. The record that we are going to add is a TXT record. We select it here on the drop down menu and we should copy the TXT record from the Google page. We paste it here and on the value, we should just copy the domain name. We click on add a record back to the Google page. In many cases, we may need to wait um, maybe like a five or 10 minutes and then click on verify my domain. We are clicking here, to verify my domain after waiting about five minutes. And now the domain has been verified by Google. We can create more users, which we are not going to do now. We will go to the next step, which is the activation. We click on activate. We can confirm here that we have added all the users for now, and I'm ready to receive emails on this account. Then click on next. In this step, uh, we need to modify the MX record. Here are the instructions, general instruction on how to do this. And we have to add five MX records. This one with priority one, then these four other MX records. So we will go back to our cPanel or our domain manager. Let's copy this one. We are now back within our domain manager to modify DNS records. And we should look for the MX record. In this case, we have here the MX record and we have to edit. We modify the, dest the destination. Google is asking us to set priority one click on save and we need to add four more mx records so we need to click here select mx record and we will copy the mx the other mx record from the google page they will be actually the same the, the only difference is this alt one l alt two alt three and alt four with priority five five ten and ten we should add a new record which will be an mx record the destination will be what we just copy priority five and we click on add record it probably has been added at the end which is here we will continue adding the other three records mx You should modify here. The number should be Alt 2, priority 5. Click on Add. Should add another one, MX record. This will be, we have to edit it. It will be Alt 3, priority 10. Click on Add it. And then one more, MX. And this will be Alt 4, priority 10. We are now added the four MX record. Here we have the first one, then at the bottom we will find the other four. We have it here. So we go back to the Google page and we can click on activate email. Google is now verifying if the MX record has been added. It is now done. If we are not planning any to add any new user at this moment, we just can skip for now. We can go directly to our email. You can always switch from different Google apps. Click here on the nine little uh, squares. If we click on 
Gmail. And now our email is ready to work. Let's send us a, a test email to see how it works. I'm just typing a email from my mobile. I'm going to send it to the new email address, carlos at askitb.xyz. And as we can see, we got it here, my first email. Now I would like to show you some basic uh, configurations within the Google Admin panel. We can open a new tab, we can go to admin.google.com and we can create, for example, additional users. So we can click here on users. We can create a new user by clicking add new user, call this user two. We can, uh, we can enter the secondary email address if that person, that user has it, a phone number, and we can generate a password or we can just set a password for the user. We're setting the password for the user. In this case, we click on add, click on done. If we refresh our page, we will see the second user here. If we click on the first user that we create, we will be able to modify, uh, we uh, reset the password, we can rename the user, um, we can also add the user to a group. We click here on their user information. We will also be able to create aliases or alias for this user. Click on the little pencil. And let's say, for example, that we want to create a alias info. For example, it will be at our domain name. We click on save. And if someone sent an email to info, it will be received by this user. And we can add multiple aliases. So for example, sales, click on save. We can create many aliases without adding or requiring additional licenses. We went back to our admin panel. If we have more than one domain name, we can click here and we can add additional domain names. We can add domain names as aliases or as independent domain names to create mailboxes for the for additional domain names. Go back to our admin panel. We can configure the security of our account by clicking here and we can create, for example, rules within our organization. We can manage the password for our users. We can ask users to create two-step verification and so on. We can also create groups that could be also very useful. This would be our dashboard for the admin panel. Here you will get uh, alerts about our account. We have here our billing information. If we want to modify uh, the credit card information where the charges have been going to be built, account settings, we can add a logo to our account. We can customize the URL so users can access our account with the customized URL. We can manage the apps that users will be able to use. We can click here on support and we can get support 24 by 7. Let's go back to our Gmail account, our mailbox. Clicking in Gmail. When we want to write an email, clicking here in Compose, we will find that we can write the email address that we want to, e to email to. We can type the subject. But we are not able to type if we want to write from any of the aliases that we created. So before we can do that, we close here and we go to settings in the little wheel on the upper right corner. Click here on see all settings. And then we go to click on accounts. And here we have the option to set up send email as we need to add the addresses so we set up for example info click on next then we can go back to our inbox and if we click on compose to write an email we will now have the option to write the email from carlos which is the first email address that we created or the main mailbox or the main email address. And we can also write from info. One more important thing that 
we would like to show you how to set up is the something regarding security if we click here on the upper right corner you can click on manage your google account and then you can click on security you can add your mobile phone so you will be able to recover your email your email password in case you forget it or you in case you lose access to your account with the steps that we have followed up until now your google account is completely functional one more thing before concluding this video we show you how to access the google workspace admin panel by going or using the url um, admin.google.com however you can also access your admin panel by clicking here on the uh, upper right corner and you will find the admin icon right here with this we conclude our video about setting up a google workspace account if you have find this video useful please give us a thumbs up if you have any comment or questions please feel free to leave us a comment on the video if you want to see more videos like this one in the future please hit the subscribe button thank you and i hope to see you next time